Bring Me is back. And um, they're, they are they are strange. <laughs> there's no doubting that. And, uh, you know, there's also no doubting that copyright is it doesn't like me too much. So uh, we're going to be strange and do this one a little differently. Uh, so here's a segment of just me watching the video and song I, all tied together uh, with noises. And uh, followed by, a, you know, an analysis, I guess, an actual review. All right, so something is not okay. Damn, okay. That punches. That that person is not doing well. Okay. Oh. More like a room full of f***ing creep, fam. All right, we doing the pop punk core live. That person's inside themselves. Get an... Woo! What's a... Woo! You know? Ew, why is it growing a set... A, a, a caterpillar in it? I'm waiting for the... Ooh, don't, 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 don't. Ooh, don't, don't, don't. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta talk about a few things here. So, um... It's a strange song, as I said. It is absolutely, you know, the, the video uh, at points made me want to, like, it, it was just disturbing. It was crazy. Like, I've uh, I've watched, you know, death metal, metalcore, deathcore music videos. I've seen Cannibal Corpse's artwork before, fam. Okay, like, yeah, like, uh, I thought I was, like, pretty immune to this stuff. This was messed up. Don't know what was happening. Caterpillars were coming out of people. People were turning their bodies and being contortions, but like broken and stuff. I don't know. It was weird, and there was there was stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay. The, so the song itself starts off with this like you know lo-fi acoustic thing with some chorus effects, and and then Ollie's voice there singing this intro, which is super. It's super hooky. It has a great melodies to it. It's it's a lot like again 2000s maybe like simple plan with some blink 182 and and some other pop punk stuff kind of thrown in there as well um and you know it gets you going it makes you feel like all the young and good times you know wearing the big baggy pants or the black skinny jeans with like the studded belts and you know skateboardings around and stuff like that and then it hits you with the chorus it punches in pretty intensely like the, the drums and guitars kick in like it's again the guitar is not doing anything crazy it's just da -da 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 -da, which is fine right it's it's the song is obviously vocal focused and production focused but the guitars are acting like a actually pretty nice support um with that and the chord progression choices with that and even the drums do have a lot of fun energy to it that helps things pop out and punch um, the vocals during the chorus, I'll actually say, I really do like that chorus quite a bit. It's, it's very hooky. It's, it has a really cool melody to it. Like, this is, this is such an easy replay on Spotify chorus. Uh, this is such an easy TikTok duet chorus. Like, it's, it's pretty ridiculous, um, how, how much it is definitely made for that stuff. But I could also see it, obviously, live shows going off and people singing it in, in arenas. Really good chorus. The song definitely revolves around the chorus. After that, you kind of get into a bit of a little dropout thing, followed by the, da, 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 you know, the palm muted chords that are building back into like the chorus and all that. Again, it's it's very pop punk um, emo, and you know they're they're doing it well. Like it, it has cool melodies even during that. Ollie does have very cool vocals during some of those verses too, because he's like he's he's doing his like iconic sing scream here and there but like he's dialing it back a bit more and then he's pu he's pushing into it where you're like oh like he's he's roaring it up kind of but he'll dial it back and forth um in fun spots where it actually does feel like it is like vocally emotionally stim stimulating in, in that sense it actually does have a lot of those dynamics which is cool um and again like the synths and all that are doing their work as well and then you hit that chorus again again the song is definitely revolved around the chorus it punches it does a great job doing that there's no complaints. It's just a good chorus. Nothing else to say, really. And it's super weird because during this all again, the video's just going on. You see, like, octopus teeth people and, like, people just semi-dying and are all busted and broken. Which you're just like, all right, this is just... It, we're just going with it, okay? It's, it's definitely not a video you'd show your grandma. But the song you could probably show her and she'd, she'd, she'd vibe with it. And be like, oh, that's so wholesome and sweet, honey. Um, not the video. Yeah, the video was wild and crazy. <laughs> it's... Um, and then you get to like the bridge, which honestly is, it's, it is a very good bridge. It leads off that, that second chorus and it starts with this, like uh, the biggest reference I could say is almost like Cohen and Cambria, like do do da do da do 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 da do do It's, it's very 2000s post hardcore, even some metalcore, maybe some under oath, um, some sleeping with sirens, like that kind of vibe with the guitars. And then the vocals are very like. 
you know, pushing forward, very uplifting in that sense, and it blends very well after that chord. And that all builds to this like da da da, which is one guitar is kind of just doing the power chord chug chunks, not really chugs, but like you know, it's just da da da. And then uh, there's this cool lead that goes on. I will give a lot of credit for this because it's it's also very early 2000s, it's like da 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 da. Da, 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 da. This nice melody that's complementing this chug at the same time, and then Ollie's accenting it with his screams, which is very cool. Again, it's, it's not it's not like a breakdown by any means, but it's a almost like post down. <laughs> it's interesting because the chorus is absolutely like the climactic points and the, and the payoff with this. Bridge does a great job hyping you up and continuing the the energy through it, and then that chorus hits again, and you're like, damn, all right, like we're going, we're having a good time again. You're singing along at that point because you probably know the words because it is, it is very hooky. It is absolutely uh, like you're in the fish. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You get rotted out. It's done. From that second chorus, we're doing a kind of a chorus 2.0 where we're just building into a more amp and more Ollie's trying to roar a bit more with it to kind of be like, all right, we're coming to an end. And uh, then then we reach the last part of the guitar is existing. And we get this like, <laughs> this, this like 2010, like, you know, like attack attack synth, which is, which is cool. Like it fits. It's just like, you know, attack attack. I see stars like that kind of synth that's leading everything out with this fun, like arpeggiated melody going on. And, like it's like I said, it's cool. It it does tie the song together, um, but it's just it's, it's not necessarily something you kind of expect. And the video just gives you nightmares. So that's basically what I got. Overall, like I think this is a good song. I do actually like it a lot more than than Die for You. Um, in that sense, it's cool to see them do more of the pop punk stuff. You know, this one is a bit more post hardcore slash emo pop punk, which is good to see too. Um, yeah, like, I, I think it's an overall just easy listening song, and that chorus, like, everyone's gonna be singing along, there's not much else to really say, so, there you go, there's Nick Nocturnal Reviews, because copyright is fun. Ah!